Hi everybody, this is Sheila Aliens, and today is May 1st, 2012. This is a story I keep hearing about, but there's no real news on it. This happened in Roslindale, Massachusetts, which is a suburb of Boston. This happened over the weekend. Apparently there were some unexplained sounds and flashes of light and stuff like that. Roslindale may soon be called Roswellindale after a series of unexplained sounds and flashes of light were witnessed over the weekend. Both Friday and Sunday, around the same times, residents reported hearing booms in the area of Zeller Street near Fallon Field. Some residents said the sound wasn't consistent with the noises made by fireworks during a July 4th celebration. The mysterious blasts were reportedly heard from Dorchester Fields to Jamaica Plain, but no one had an answer for the strange phenomenon. Locals reported that police responded to the scene but found nothing. I'm actually going to go to radioreference.com and see if there's any police audio from this happening. I'll have to track down the time of day that it happened. Todd Johnson, who has lived in Roslindale for the past year, said the sound startled him and his wife. It wasn't like a gunshot. It was louder and deeper than that, said Johnson, who had his television on the first time he heard the strange noise. It was like a cannon going off. While others reported seeing a flash following the boom, Johnson said he only heard the loud noise on both Friday and Sunday night around the same time. Yeah, probably because he was watching TV, just a guess. It's really weird. You'd think there would be some explanation or something, said Johnson. With fireworks, there would be some smoke or the smell of sulfur, but I don't think any of the neighbors heard anything about that kind of stuff. On universalhub.com, people living nearby joked about the boom being caused by characters from the TV show Lost going back to the island. And then it goes on to talk about the booms in Clintonville a little bit. So I'm going to be linking to this article, but also to the Universal Hub one in case you want to see what the people were saying about it. It is kind of interesting. I always like to see what the locals and the people who, the witnesses, they always leave comments and they're, that's like more important than anything is to know what they all heard and saw. So I'll be linking to that for you. Very interesting indeed. And I'm going to see if I can pull up some of that police audio and find out what was going on. Or, you know, at least hear them talk about it a little bit. Because I haven't found any mainstream media type of video about this yet. It's all just a couple obscure articles here and there. So I'll be looking into this. And as always, I'll follow up if I find anything. Thanks for watching. Much love. Bye.